as usual people into boy ambassador ambassador give these opinions just my opinions as usual i tell you guys like share subscribe that's what make this thing grow that's what that's the intended objective of all of these conversations i'm trying to spark out here more people having this conversation so today i'll be talking about why we need to take ownership of our future but there are a few questions that keep me up at night the first one is who will own our future unicorns and more specifically how do we get africans at home of means and those of you in this room in the diaspora to get involved and invest in more of these companies. The future of Africa will not be built by government or grants, but by entrepreneurs who leverage technology to build and scale businesses fast. But building this future requires capital. And in increasing numbers, African capital. Capital with context and empathy Capital on a mission, your capital. It turns out that early stage technology investing in Africa can actually be a great bet. So if you had put money in Andela, Andela, by the way, is a software talent accelerator. If you had put money in Andela in the early days, you would have made 10x on your investment. Iroko TV the African Netflix, if you invested when they started, today you would have actually made 3,000%. With the right support, greedy African founders would solve the toughest problems on the continent, will create new markets, will expand existing markets, and deliver value for themselves and their investors. I believe that Africa will produce unicorns, and the time to get in on the ground floor is now. And I look at it from the perspective of entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship is that that's what bring real development in Africa. It's not this project, it's not this NGO, it's not this grant, it's not this prayer either. It's entrepreneurship. So as entrepreneurs, we need to come out of, as usual, as I say, real African problems, real solutions. But also, I think I see a lot of foreign VCs, venture capitalists. Um, structures investing in Africa that's a remix of slavery by buying our future and buying our level because our level is going to be invested in those startups as they grow up and the profit of that level is going to be taken out of Africa because we don't own the money which was invested in those startups it's a lot to say but that's just a breakdown of how it's going to play out so if we as Africans don't take ownership of our future by investing in our startups that's just only going to make us, we're already planning to be poor in the future. And that also means that we don't believe in ourselves. So, when I ask Africans to take ownership of their future, we also need to put the capital with the context. They said it's capital with context. So, let me break it down. Capital with context just means that when an African invests in an African startup, they know that our roads are not tied. They know that light is a problem. Power shortages is a problem. So he does not expect you to be online for a meeting 24 hours based on whenever the meeting is scheduled because he knows that light might be an issue. Internet might be an issue. So that's what we call investment with context. You have been to Africa, you know the reality of Africa. You have that. You should give softer loans and patient loans, which you know they will not pay you back immediately because it takes a longer time to put some of those things because we don't have the infrastructure to accompany some of those investments in the planned time. The risk factor is higher in Africa because of all of these uncertainties. So that's what we call investment, capital that comes with context. And also owning that equity is also betting for a future that you are sure that it's going to be better. Hence, I'm investing in this thing. The last part of it is like, as I said in the beginning, I'll say again in the end, is to start solving African problems by Africans for Africans. We should stop outsourcing the responsibility of solving our problems or guaranteeing the continuity of our generation, our race, and our continent by hoping that others will save us. It's not an NGO, it's not the church, it's not the politician. You and me should do the everyday work that will permit this continent to grow and to change. 
as usual as your boy ambassador ambassador ask you guys to like share subscribe most importantly share comment so i can get your opinion share so that more people can give their opinions and by doing this we build the critical mass which for me is the first step of development for every community every society as usual as your boy ambassador ambassador I'm out. just my opinion